Hey, and welcome to another MongoDB Stitch tutorial. I'm just going to show you very briefly today how to integrate data from a Google Sheet into MongoDB, a database, and a collection. Um, very easy to do, and uh, it all begins with the data. So let's take a look at what we're, we're going to work with. The data we're going to work with is my events demo spreadsheet. This is a, a spreadsheet that looks a lot like the events spreadsheet that I use in developer advocacy here at MongoDB to track the events that that uh, we in developer advocacy are going to participate in or sponsor. So it's very simple, it's got the event, it's got columns for event, URL, the type of event that it is, the date start, end, the location, and the status. So very simple. Um, the rest of the developer advocacy team is in this sheet on a regular basis, adding items, and we're looking at um, you know the, the events that we really wanna be a part of and, and how we can work that into the budget and um, uh, so the, from a collaboration perspective, this is really great as a, a Google Sheet because that's what Google Sheets does. It extends the capabilities of Excel and gives you that great collaboration capability. But what if I want to take this data and make it available outside of the Sheets interface? What if I wanted to, for example, create a Slack slash command like I did in, in my previous video and expose this data via a slash command, maybe slash events, and the rest of my company could issue a slash events list and see all of the events that the, the developer advocacy team is going to participate in. Super valuable to extend that capability to the rest of the company, extend that visibility of data. So let's show how we might do that. Um, again, we start with this data. Uh, a key capability that we're going to leverage is built into Google Apps. It's a scripting engine and Google Sheets has it. If you click on Tools and the Script Editor, it's going to bring you to a scripting IDE built right into uh, the browser within Google uh, Sheets. Here you have access to, to write functions that can automate various aspects of, of your work within Google Sheets. Here I've written a function. This function is called if Export Events to MongoDB, and I'm just establishing uh, variables that give me access to the individual data elements in the sheet. This is a data object that I ultimately get with all of the values of the data in each of the cells. Um, from there, I loop through those, I loop through all the rows and all of the columns, grabbing the data elements in each cell, and I build a form object. This is a JSON object that has key value pairs for each of the cell items. And essentially, this is a column and this is a value or a cell. So then, once I've got that object, I'm going to send it to somewhere via a post, via an HTTP post. And the way I'm going to do that is, well, first I'm going to verify that I have a description so that there's an, it's not a null row. Then I'm going to use this class. This is a cool class built into the Google, Google um, Apps scripting engine. It's a class called URL Fetch App, and it's very much like wget or curl, where you would send data uh, over an HTTP request. And there's a, a method on that class called fetch. And that's, that's really what we're doing here. We're sending data to this URL. Now this really long URL is, it's a MongoDB Stitch service that I created. It's an HTTP service with a webhook, an incoming webhook, and the webhook happens to be called import. So I'm sending an HTTP post with the data object, and then I'm getting back an object ID that I inserted into the database and then what I do is I I create a cell with the value of the document ID the object ID that was inserted and if we come back here and I slide to the right a little bit you can see that event ID so this is an object ID that was that's correlated to the document for this individual row so that's pretty simple we looked at the script that actually packages up this data and issues a post to MongoDB. Let's look at the Stitch side of things. So here I'm in MongoDB Stitch. I've created a Stitch app. Within that Stitch app, I've created a service. And then I've created a, um, this is an, an HTTP service with a webhook. Now webhooks look like this. You have the settings for your webhook. And with each webhook, you get a publicly addressable URL. This is how you're going to communicate with this uh, with this webhook. You're going to send data to this URL, and this look, should look pretty familiar. You should see it over in the scripts. This is the exact same URL that we have in our script. So when we send data to this, when we send a post, an HTTP post, 
it's going to execute this function. And this function is relatively simple. It's 11 lines. We're leveraging context and we're getting access to the MongoDB Atlas databases and collections. And specifically, we're going to get access to a, a database called events and a collection within that database called events as well. And then we're going to use async await to simply issue a MongoDB insert one. And what we're inserting is the payload that we sent to this function via the webhook. Very simple. What we get back in return is the object ID and it inserts it into the the database and the collection. What does that look like? Well, here you go. We've got access to our cluster from within MongoDB Atlas, and I'm in the collection viewer. This is my events database and my events collection, and here you see for every row we have a document, an object that has key value pairs for each of the cells. There you have it. That's going from sheets through scripts into an HTTP service in Stitch all the way into a database and a collection. Now, once we do that, uh, we, uh, we insert the data. We also may want to uh, take a look at removing the data. And we can do that just as simply from within the script. We can uh, leverage another function that's called remove events. And we simply call another webhook called remove. And here I created that in the same service, I created a new webhook called remove, and instead of an insert one, I issue a delete one. Very simply, I just delete it and send back the text uh, deleted. Now, that's how that, how that works from the stitch side. If we come back to the, uh, to the script, how do these functions get referenced? How do they get executed? Here we have the remove, and we have the, the export. How are they accessed from within in the sheets. Well, what I'm doing is I'm leveraging a, a trigger within sheets and the trigger is based on the name of the function. There's some special reserved uh, function names. One of them is called onOpen. And in the onOpen function, this automatically executes when I open the sheet. And what I'm doing here is just some magic to create a new menu item in the sheet, uh, in the events sheet. I'm creating two menu items, one for export and one for remove. And then I add the menu. So let's look at that over here in the sheet. If we look, we can see the demo sh stitch sheets integration, and here are my two uh, menu items. Now we've seen the data, we've seen the menu. Let's go ahead and remove the items. That script's gonna take just a couple of seconds to run. What it's doing is it's looping through each of the rows and sending the object to my remove stitch service, uh, incoming webhook, and it's removing the data one by one. So if this runs correctly, which it says it did, finished script, we should come back and refresh the collection viewer, and we should see no data. Sure enough, all of the data has been removed. So we come back to the sheet, and here we've removed the event ID as a part of the script execution. Let's go ahead and go the other way. We'll export the events one more time to MongoDB. And again, this is going to take a couple of seconds because it's looping through each row, and it's packaging up each cell item inserting it into MongoDB and getting back the object ID. This should look familiar. This is the object ID that has been inserted into Atlas. If we research, uh, refresh, we should see the, the documents once again. So there you have it. We've gone from Sheets, leveraging Stitch, to get that very same Sheets data into MongoDB Atlas inside a database and a collection. Really super easy. Um, I'll put the links to the GitHub repository and uh, the blog article and uh, links to the gists for the Google Sheets scripts. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you built something awesome. Have a great day.